Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all doing well. This video is a detailed guide to Kaubanga Lite Windows GUI version which you can use to customize, tweak and theme your iOS device without a jailbreak starting from iOS 15. Yes, it works on iOS 17 as well. Kaubanga Lite is completely free for everybody. Guys, as you can see, I have currently connected an iOS 15 device on the latest version. Currently, at the time of making this video, iOS 15.7.9. And you can see it is supported and you can see it on the device as well. And as you can see, it is also supported on iOS 16, latest version currently, iOS 16.7. As you can see it also on my device right here. And as you can see, it is also supported on iOS 17 without any problem. But you will see your mileage may vary, but I was able to just test it just fine on iOS 17 as well. Now guys, let's first of all get it. You can either get it from the official GitHub page directly. Yes, it is completely free and you can get it from releases or you can get to its official website as you can see it right here. Then scroll down and get it directly from here. You will find it in a zip file like so. Right here, you'll also find the link to the official GitHub page if you want to get it from the releases right here now to use it you will need only itunes swift is not required to use it so simply get the latest version from the apple's website directly for your windows pc now simply extract the zip file that you have got right click and extract all and you will get this folder open it and from here you can open Kaobanga Lite. Now simply connect a device and open it. Now for this test, I have connected an iOS 16 device on the latest version currently, iOS 16.7. Here you'll find Explore, where you'll find the themes that you may download easily from here. Also, if you check out Stereos Power and then hit Modify, you can modify these settings or tweak your device from right here you have various options as you can see it right here simply hit modify then change them and then we will apply i will show you that in a second you have the control center which you can modify you have springboard options which you can hit modify and then you can also change the ui animation speed from here from fast to slow you have various settings that you can change from here you have internal options which you can hit modify and change them from here and in setup options you can hit modify and you can disable ota updates from here or enable supervision by simply selecting it now guys let's first of all change some settings and tweak the device before i will show you how to theme it for example, if I go to setup options and I want to enable supervision and disable OTA updates, I will select modify and then select these options. In springboard option, I would like to slow the animation speed. Once done, you can simply go to apply and apply changes. You will see restoring backup and after that, your device will automatically restart. It open. So guys, after the process, you will see restore completed when your device reboots and you will get into the home screen right away. Now here you can see my device, the settings are properly applied and you can also see that this iPhone is supervised and managed because we enabled supervised more. Also you can see the animations are now slow. So the UI animation change worked very well without any issues. We also enabled to disable OTA updates. So let's check it out also. So you will see this error unable to check for update. So we successfully disabled the OTA update. Now to revert the changes, you can simply 
head to the options that you modified and uncheck modify and uncheck all the options the skip setup is recommended because after the backup is restored it will help you get into the device easily and then you will simply apply and after the device boards up you can see that the changes are now reverted my device is no longer supervised and the OTA works just well so I'm on the latest version as you can see we don't see the error now guys to theme your device you can simply head to explore and then download one of the themes from here these are completely free so for example i like the odysseus dark i will hit download and wait for the download to finish once the download has been finished you will see done now go to icon theming from here then hit modify and you'll find the theme that you downloaded right here then hit apply also you can import your theme right from here using these buttons you can see import theme next simply go to apply then apply changes now after a reboot you can see our theme is applied you will have to remove the unthemed icons from your home screen manually and you will be left with the icons which are themed you can move them to a folder all right guys after moving all the unthemed icons to a folder i am left with only the themed icons and they open your apps properly without any problem and you can see it all worked without a jailbreak and it works on all devices and if you want to remove a theme from cowbunga light you can simply head to icon theming and remove it from here without any problem now towards the end of the video let's test it on ios 17 as well to make sure that it works so i have ios or ipad os 17.0.2 which is the latest one currently on my device and i have already downloaded a theme so that we can test it with it now i will enable to disable ota updates and enable supervision from here in springboard option let's hit modify and get the animation speed to fast and let's theme the device modify apply and then apply here then simply apply changes yes guys as you can see it worked really well on ios 17 as well the animation speed is now fast we have supervision enabled as we enabled it in Kaobanga light and you can see that the software update is giving me an error because we have disabled the OTA update also the theme is applied as we did previously in iOS 16 you just have to remove or get the unthemed icon to a folder and you will be left with all the themed icons all right so once i remove the unthemed icons to a folder this looks like this and you can see we have no problems opening the apps it is working just fine without any problem that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as fast as possible I will see you in a new video, goodbye and take care of yourself.